Hello, what's up everybody? Thank you for checking me out. My name is Eko Simpson. I'm a Ghanaian and I live in Ghana. Well, you are watching this channel because somebody introduced you to it. It was recommended or suggested to you on YouTube. Basically, my YouTube channel is to connect Africans and the motherland to Africans in the diaspora. Hey, what's good family? How is everybody doing? My name is Eko Simpson. If this is your first time of checking out my YouTube videos, kindly subscribe and let's build this channel together. So let me tell you something. First of all, I love it when I have to give you something culturally from Ghana. Yes, when we have to display our beautiful culture and, you know, bring in our beautiful people from outside there, talking about the African diaspora. Basically, you know, this is what my channel is all about. So first of all, I want to say a big congratulations to these brothers who came to Ghana and were crowned chiefs and Queen Mabes, yes. So first of all, I wanna say a big congratulations to Dr. Anthony Browder. You are an author, a philanthropist, a historian out there in the United States. You're doing a beautiful job out there. I wanna say congrats to Dr. Chike Ekua. I wanna say big shout outs to you for being installed as a sub-chief here in Ghana. And I wanna say a big shout outs to my man, Bright and Nabulele. Yes, you are. Uh, the owner of this cryptocurrency called Odua Coin. You were also in Ghana a few days ago. You were crowned as a chief here in Ghana, Mori to be specific, and other two beautiful, awesome queen mothers that were also crowned here. So basically, like I told you, my YouTube channel is to bridge the gap between the two beautiful people, the Africans in the motherland and then the African diaspora out there. So a few days ago, something beautiful happened. And by kind courtesy of Opokese University of Excellence and Opokese Foundation, about 200 to 300 brothers and sisters from the diaspora flew all the way to Ghana, to Central Region, my region, and then to Cape Coast, and then down south to Mori community. I've already showed you some beautiful videos, content from Mori community. I already told you about Mori community, right? In my previous videos, you've seen me sharing more beautiful content about Mori. So Mori is a fishing community here in the central region. It's a beautiful town. You should make it a point to come and visit. So a few months ago, we commissioned a beautiful monument to represent a fair new Kweja. So he uh, was the first fisherman, the celebrated fisherman here in Ghana. And he's celebrated in most of the fishing communities here in Ghana. And we also talked about his brother called Asebu Amemfi, one giant man from Ghana, yes. So this is what happened a few days ago inside Mori, courtesy of Bokese University of Excellence and Obokese Foundation, and then UCC, University of Cape Coast. Uh, they brought about 200 to 300 African diaspora to Ghana, yes. And they came here to organize educational events, you know, to talk to the students. They also did some artworks and all that. But at the end of the day, brothers and sisters, had to be renamed. Yes, I know some of you say, drop that thing, drop that thing. But hey, if we are looking at connecting with our brothers, there are certain things we need to learn from each other. I wouldn't say we need to teach them because definitely they are here to teach us as well. So there are a lot of things that we have to inculcate in ourselves so that we can get to understand where we are and how the system runs. So uh, beautiful brothers and sisters came. It was a beautiful event inside Maury with a lot of people in the audience looking at what was happening. It was so good having to see our brothers and sisters getting their names. Yes, getting their names. And uh, about 200 plus had their names. You know, they had to drop their old name, even though it may be in their document, but uh, officially, Brothers and sisters have gotten their own local names. Now, let me tell you something. In the video, you will see that certain men are holding a stuff. And every stuff has a meaning on it. Now, in our tradition, in the Ghanaian tradition, a group of families come together to form a clan. So we have about seven clans in Ghana. So every community has a representative of one of these clans. And out of these clans, we all have an emblem or symbol that represents the clan. So you might find uh, uh, an elephant, you might find a fish, you might find two people sitting together, you might find someone like this. You might find different stuff with different emblems on it that represents the families here. So what happened there was that uh, brothers and sisters were allocated to families. Now, the beautiful thing is that 
out of the seven families, there were kings and queens who were instilled to represent their brothers in the diaspora here in Ghana. Take a look at this video and enjoy it. And make sure that you put up a comment and you subscribe to this YouTube channel if you've not. Thank you very much for checking me out. Nicole Simpson, connecting Africans in the diaspora to the motherland. by you to me to them and they have looked at your names and had spiritual people look at your name and determine what vibration is associated with that name and all these people here are family representatives of those names so you're not just receiving a name today the family members that are in that family are here today to try to greet you. But of course, we know that would take to the end of the month before we could get meetings with all these people. So we've been wrestling with the idea and the challenge of how exactly to do this so that your flight won't take off without you on Friday. So here's what we have decided makes sense. We're going to call the name of a male and female for each day that will represent the other people on that same day. However, if you're so inclined, we will make available to you the actual family name that's associated with that day name. So at some point, you can make contact with them. We can change photos. They were hoping to meet with you and start talking to you right now, but that's not going to happen. <laughs> And we are our own. And you never live somewhere without investing in it. So we need to invest in this place. It's set aside for us, and we are welcome here. It's important for us to give here. It's awesome. Congratulations, man. Ah. Yeah. 